Hey, uh, how have you been? I think you have the wrong number. I don't recognize this number. Sorry. Oh, come on, Gwen. Don't play hard to get. It's me, your husband. I'm sorry, but I don't have a husband. I think you're mistaking me for someone else. Don't be silly, Gwen. It's Kevin. Stop pretending like you don't know who I am. Look, I don't know who you are, and I'm not playing games here. I'm serious. You got the wrong person. Leave me alone. Wow. You don't have to be so cold after everything we've been through. You should remember me. What are you talking about? You broke up, remember? You cheated on me with Mavis. I moved on since then. Oh, come on. That was in the past. Get over it already. I'm ready to continue our relationship now. Are you serious? After everything that happened, you think I would just forget about it and take you back? No way! I'm not interested in you anymore. You're being ridiculous. I only left so that you could reflect on your actions as an incompetent wife. I'm giving you a second chance, so accept it while I'm still offering you my forgiveness. Reflect on my actions. You cheated on me, Kevin. I had nothing to do with it. And I don't need your second chance. I moved on, and I'm happier without you. Oh, come on, Gwen. You can't fool me. Remember how you used to cry whenever I was upset with you? You still have feelings for me. That was then, and this is now. We're bringing up the past. I've grown stronger and moved on from that toxic relationship. I don't want anything with you. <laughs> You're just trying to get me to beg now, aren't you? Well, forget it. I won't grovel for you. So quit trying to push your luck with me. No, Kevin, you've got it all wrong. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I genuinely don't want you back in my life. Right, look, I don't have time for this. Just send me your address so I can bring my stuff over. Absolutely not! Didn't you hear me? You're not welcome in my home. I don't even want to see your face. Ever! Oh, I get it. You're embarrassed because you're probably living in some terrible place right now, right? Like in someone's basement or out in the streets without a roof over your head. But don't worry, I won't judge. Excuse me? We're not living in such an extreme conditions. Maybe you are. But we're living in a nice condo, and I'm doing just fine without you. <laughs> you think I'll believe that lie? There's no way that's true. When I left, you had nothing. But wait, why did you say they earlier? Who was with you? That's none of your business. I moved on, and I have people who care about me now, but you're not one of them. Huh, I knew it. You're lying to cover up your embarrassment. I bet you're all alone and miserable without me. Ah, you're delusional, Kevin. If that's the case, then be honest with me. Who are you living with? Mick and Lily, obviously. Mick? Your, uh, special brother? He must be a handful to live with. I can't believe you still haven't found a place of your own without him. Don't you dare make fun of Mick. Yes, he may be autistic, but he's the most caring and loving brother anyone could ask for. He's the best person in my life. Whatever. And who's this Lily girl living with you two? His girlfriend or, or something? Wow, I, I can't believe he could score a girl. <laughs> That's definitely a surprise. No, you moron! Lily is Mick's niece. I can't believe I have to explain this to you. Wait a minute. Lily is his niece? As in, she's my daughter? Wow, it didn't take you long to put two and two together. Lily is my daughter, yes. But not yours. You have no right to claim any relationship with her. Hang, hang on a second. How could that be possible? I was your husband when you were pregnant. That means she's my daughter. Do you remember when you left me? I was pregnant and needed surgery. I needed you, but you abandoned us. Sold our house and just ran off with Mavis. You never bothered to find out what happened to me or the baby. Well, I, I didn't know it would turn out this way. I was just confused back then. Confused? You are anything but confused, Kevin. As I remember, your final words to me were, Doctor said there's only a slight chance for you or the baby to survive. And it's unfair to me to put all we have into this. But don't worry, I'll make sure to live the life we always wanted. Goodbye. And that was it. You left us to fend for ourselves. Hang on, uh, that's not how I remember it happening. Do you have any idea how much your words hurt me at that time? I was on antidepressants even after having Lily. Can't we start over? I want to be in Lily's life. Start over? Are you kidding me? 
You can't just waltz back into her life after all these years and expect me to have a relationship with her. You gave up that right long time ago. But I've changed. I want to be there for her now. It's too late for that, Kevin. You made your choice, and we made it through without you. Lily doesn't need you in her life. Now you're just being stubborn. You think you're so perfect, but you're not. I may not be perfect, but I'm a better person than you'll ever be. And I won't let you hurt Lily again. Ugh, I can't believe you won't let me be a part of Lily's life. She deserves to have a father and experience all the love and support that only I can provide. It's not fair to keep her away from me. True, but Lily doesn't need a father who only wants to be involved when it's convenient for him. She deserves better. She has someone else in her life who has been there for her. Oh, you mean Mick? <laughs> you can't be serious. That guy's an oversized child himself. He's not capable of being a father figure. He can barely take care of himself, let alone a child. Don't you dare to insult Mick. He may have his challenges, but he loves Lily unconditionally. He's been there for her when you weren't. He's a better father figure than you could ever be. You're just trying to push me away, Gwen. You know deep down that I should be in Lily's life. It's not right for her to grow up without a father's love. Lily is surrounded by love, Kevin. She has Mick, me, and other caring people in her life. She doesn't need you, so stop trying to guilt trip me with your emotional manipulation. Quit trying to make me into the villain here. We both know you need me. I bet you can't even afford next month's rent for your grand condo. You guys probably don't even have any money left. In your dreams! I'll have you know that we don't rent our home. We bought it. You're kidding. How did you manage to afford that fancy condo? I, I thought you had nothing when I left. Well, after you left, Mick was my biggest support. You probably don't know about it, but he practices writing to perfection. He finally completed his book, and guess what? It became the bestseller! With that, and a bit more help from outside sources, we were able to afford the surgery in our new home. Maybe instead of being jealous, you should focus on your own life and the consequences of your actions. Jealous? Please, Gwen. I just want what's best for Lily. No, Kevin. You want what's best for yourself. You abandoned us, sold our house, and ran off with someone else. You have no right to claim what you want or what's best for Lily right now. Just stay away from us and let us live our lives in peace. Fine, have it your way, but don't be surprised if Lily ends up resenting you for keeping me away from her. Lily will understand why I made this decision when she's older. For now, she's too young for this. What are these paper that you sent? Fill them out and send them to court. What are they? Documents. For child custody, look, you can't keep Lily away from me forever. She's my daughter. I want to be there for her. We've discussed this already. You're not getting custody of her. I won't let you. Then we'll have to take this matter to court. And if I can't have custody, then I should at least be able to see her. Andrew! You won't believe what Kevin's trying to do. Kevin? You mean your ex? He's trying to steal Lily from me! Hang on, what did he say? That he wants to be in her life. He said he's going to get custody of her. Or at least have visiting hours. What am I going to do? Don't worry, Gwen. I will let him take her away from you. I promise. You mean you'll help me? Of course I will. I can't just sit back and let someone take your child away. Thanks, you, Andrew. You have no idea how much I appreciate you and all you've done for my family. What the hell? Why are you trying to keep me away from Lily? We both know why, Kevin. Still, I can't stop thinking about when you completely lost it and punched my lawyer. Especially when he ended up paying a penalty for it. <laughs> the only thing I'm upset about was when the judge decided to continue this matter at a later date. Are you sure he was just a lawyer? You seem to be very close to him. So? So? Do you have any idea how furious I was? I'm your husband for crying out loud. I shouldn't see you being so comfortably close to someone else. And why is that? Does it make you uncomfortable? Of course it does. Find another lawyer if you have to, but I don't want to see you with him ever again. It's not my problem that you're jealous of my fiancé. Wait, what? Your lawyer is your fiancé? Yep, and his name is Andrew. Unbelievable. You can't do this to me. Do what? Be in love with someone? 
You don't seem to have any problem with it when you were the one cheating on me while I was hospitalized. Th that was different. It was only a one-time thing, nothing more. Yet, you chose to run away with her. Look, you left me for Mavis. That's where our relationship ended. You mean nothing to me and Lily anymore. So, leave us alone. Go back to your mistress. I can't. Whatever. Either way, it's not my problem. Hey, is this Gwen? I hope you don't mind me reaching out. It's Mavis, by the way. Mavis? How do you get my number? I apologize that this seems unexpected. I recently found out about you and Kevin, and I wanted to reach out to you directly. Is it true that you and Kevin were in a relationship all this time? As if we didn't know that already. Why are you really contacting me? You already stole my husband from me. So, are you here to take Lily from me too? No, not at all. Please, just hear me out. I had no idea Kevin was married to you. When we first met, he introduced himself to me as a rich, single young man. If I had known the truth about him, I would have never dated him in the first place. Rich? Oh, please. We were living paycheck to paycheck. That money he blew up on you was the money you got after selling our house. Wait, so Kevin's father wasn't a successful businessman? I see. Then that's another lie he told me. What are you talking about? Never mind that. Listen, I didn't know that you and Kevin were a thing. In fact, I only recently found out that you were his wife. I find it hard to believe you. You mean to tell me that you didn't know he was married to another woman? How is that even possible? I did find it odd when he disappeared for several days. But whenever I asked him where he went, he used to tell me that he had to go out of a city to help his father and his business. He never mentioned you to me. Ever. And I even have proof. All text messages, pictures, our dates, everything. I didn't even know that you existed until a few weeks ago. And? Why are you telling me all this now? What do you want? I want to apologize to you. I should have done more research on him rather than blindly believing whatever he told me. Sabotaging someone's relationship with a loved one is the last thing I want to do. I hope you can forgive me for this. Are you here on Kevin's behalf? Did he ask you to tell me all this? No way! I want nothing to do with that jerk. I ended things with him as soon as I learned the truth. I'm so sorry for any pain I might have caused you. Hang on, this doesn't make any sense. If he never told you the truth himself, then how did you find out? He had been distanced from me lately. He was always on his phone texting God knows who. I tried to ignore it, but it really started to butt me out. So I decided to clear the confusion. I went through his phone and saw his Tinder profile. That upset me for sure. But what really bothered me was his old gallery. It was filled with photos of the two of you. When I confronted him, he finally told me that you were his wife. And that's when I realized he's been playing both of us. He cheated on you with me. But I didn't know at that time. And now, I found out that he has been texting other girls too. That creep played both of us. Then what did you do? What anyone would. I ended things with him and kicked him out of my house. Your house? I thought you were living with him. What? No way. Can't even afford a piece of candy after how foolishly he spent all his money on our dates. I'm bringing home most of the money now, and he was living with me in my house. So, where does he live now? Beats me. He's been trying to get back with me for some time now. I didn't know why at first, but I think I finally do. It's because he can't support himself. Wait, seriously? I guess it makes sense though. He's probably desperate and out in the streets. Are you here to try to get me to take him back or something? Make me feel bad for him being out on the streets? No, I don't care what you do with Kevin. I just wanted to apologize for putting your relationship in jeopardy. I genuinely just want to make amends for any pain I've caused you. Can we meet up and talk about this? I don't know. I still don't know if I can trust you. I understand. Take all the time you need. When you're ready, let me know if you're willing to meet. I truly want to make things right. Alright, I'll think about it. You'll never guess who just texted me. It was Mavis. That girl Kevin dated? Why? What does she want? She wants to meet up with me. She told me that Kevin kept our marriage a secret from her. And that she's already dumped him and now wants to apologize to me. And you forgave her? I don't know yet. But given that she didn't know the full story, maybe I should? What do you think I should do? I wouldn't trust her. For all we know, she could be lying. Maybe she's still working with Kevin. You know how manipulative he can be. What if he's using her to get to you? Stay away from her. Andrew, trust me on this. 
I have a gut feeling that Mavis is telling the truth. I think she genuinely wants to make amends for what happened. There's something else you need to know. Kevin is trying to sabotage my career. He made fake tweets and posts about me being a womanizer. He claims I'm taking advantage of my client's misery. He's trying to paint me as a manipulative person to trick you into dating him. What? I can't believe he would stoop so low. You've done nothing but help me get back on my feet. It's a mess. The posts have gone viral and it's ruining my reputation. I'm here for you, Andrew. I'll prove your innocence by testifying everything. I'll tell everyone the truth, that I was the one who came to you. Gwen, it's not that simple. Kevin's posts have caused people to doubt me, including some at my law firm. They believe I'm manipulating you to stand up for me. Well, there has to be something we can do. What is wrong with you? Take back everything you said about Andrew and tell everyone the truth. I'll only do that when you take me back, Gwen. You expect me to let a cheater back into my life? It's never gonna happen. I won't bring myself nor my daughter to that kind of pain again. I've changed and I want to make things right. Let's work on fixing our relationship and build a better future together. I know you too well, Kevin. Your words mean nothing. You were just trying to manipulate me into giving you what you want. Well, I won't let you off the hook that easily. So back off. If you continue with this, I promise you, I'll find a way to ruin your life. Go ahead and try. I'm not scared of your empty threats. And let me remind you that with your lawyer under investigation himself, he won't be able to defend you. It'll be an easy win for me in the custody case. I'll get full custody of Lily and you'll have no choice but to accept me if you want to remain close to her. You think I'll just stand by and let you take my daughter away from me? I won't let that happen. I'll fight tooth and nail to protect Lily from you and your toxic influence. You can try, but Lily will become mine, one way or another. And you'll have to accept that if you want any relationship with her. I won't let you control our lives. I refuse to accept a future with you. I'll gather the evidence, expose your deceitful ways, and fight for Lily's well-being. You won't get away with this. Hey Mavis, I've been thinking, and I think I'm willing to forgive you, if you do me a favor. I'm so glad to hear that! What do you need? Here's the thing, basically Kevin has tried to manipulate the situation to take Lily away from me. He's using the custody battle as a way to blackmail me into accepting him back. And to make matters worse, he's been spreading fake rumors about my lawyer, who is also my fiancé, but he's trying to take advantage of me. I'm not sure why, but it looks like it's working because now... Andrew is under investigation by his own law firm. That's absurd. I can't believe Kevin would stoop so low. I know. I need your help to expose his true intentions. I want to testify against Kevin and Court. Share your experiences and expose his scandals. We need to show the judge his true character and the extent of his manipulative actions. Consider it done. I'll organize all the evidence I have. But make sure the truth comes out. Just let me know when and where. We're supposed to present ourselves in court next Tuesday at noon. I'll be there. Thank you, Mavis. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad you reached out to me. Don't thank me yet. We still have a case to win. Oh, also, do you think we can find a way to clear my fiancé's name too? I feel bad that he got dragged into all this. He's been accused of being a womanizer, right? Don't worry. I'll make sure to fix that too. Mavis did exactly as she said. She helped us testify against Kevin in court. In the end, the jury believed us. I was granted full custody of Lily. As for Andrew, Mavis was able to clear his name and reveal Kevin's intention to ruin his career. She also revealed that Kevin is fact the true womanizer that takes advantage of women. Paris? Yeah? Do you know where my purse is? It's been missing for a week now. I've been looking everywhere. And you came over the other day. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but this is a common recurrence with you. You keep losing your stuff. I saw you with it on your story, so I was asking. All my stuff was in there, my AirPods, ID, and cash, and now it's all gone. Oh, that one. That one. I literally have only one white purse, and it had all my stuff in it. 
My bad. It was just lying around, so I took it. Don't make it a big deal. Lying around? I left it in my room on my nightstand. When did you even get it? I don't remember seeing you live with it. Don't sweat the small stuff. I beg your pardon? I get we're sisters, but you can't just take my stuff. I barely borrow your stuff, Frenchie. You just keep losing your belongings. Don't blame it all on me. I'll just have to get cameras at home then so I can keep track of myself. No, save your money, sis. But it's getting ridiculous. Cameras would help. It would be a waste of space. I have to run a few errands. Bye, Frenchie. Dude. Bro? Don't call me bro. Sorry, dude. What's wrong, babe? Paris took another thing of mine, and it literally had all my belongings in it. The white purse with the gold chains? Yes. You've been looking for it all morning. I saw a local ad recently with that purse. When? Oh, uh, like a week ago? Do you remember the ad website? I just remember seeing it as an auction. I only skim it since you already had that purse. No point in buying you another one. That's strange. Interesting. Can you investigate the website for me? Are you using me for my job status? I'm just kidding. I'll look into it in a bit. Thank you, my vanilla scented candle flame. Anything for you, my sugar booger boo boo bear. I gagged reading that. Let's stop this right here. Ha ha ha. I'll hit you back up with what I find. Okay, we'll talk later. I'll email the website to you. I'll go check now. Thanks. Chris! I'm on duty right now. I know, but just listen. All that stuff on the website are all items I lost. What do you think that says then, considering your white bag just went missing and was on this website? I'm really hoping it's not what I think. This means someone is stealing from me and reselling it online. They probably know my schedule too. I rarely lose my stuff on my days off. It's when I come home, they go missing. I will try my best to get more proof for you. I think I have an idea for that. You can go back to work. Are you positive? Yeah. Alright then. I'm going to need you to explain something to me. Why exactly were you in my apartment yesterday? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I was working yesterday. That's funny when you mention that because I called your job last week and they said they don't have anyone with your name. Didn't you say you work at the pizza restaurant on Main Street? Why would you call my job? You weren't responding to my messages. Seriously? Don't make me tell mom. Tell her what? You've been lying to both of us about your job? Coming to my apartment without permission? Wait, how did she know I was in your apartment? I set up cameras yesterday. I told you not to. Oh my gosh, why are you acting like this? Is there anything else you've been lying about? Come clean now or forever, hold your peace. Why are you being so complicated today? Could you at least take the cameras down when I visit? Don't make me uneasy. Whatever, Paris. Sure. I'll come by tomorrow with some food. I only lied about my job because I'm ashamed of my actual job. You know we wouldn't make fun of you or anything. What's your real job? I'm not confident enough to say it out loud. Could I tell it to you another time? Whatever you want. I appreciate it if you wouldn't lie to me. Or at least to mom. Yeah, you got it. 
Should I buy you dinner tonight? Chris, I have been in the biggest frenzy for like an hour. My laptop, my old phones, my watches, they're all gone. The necklace my late grandma gave me is missing too. Why did you tell me sooner? Did you check the cameras we installed? Paris said she was going to come by with food and that the cameras make her uneasy, so I took them down. Did Paris actually come over? No, I told her I had to go to my doctor's appointment first and to wait till I was done to pass by. Then I come home to all my belongings missing and told her to come by another day. I'm coming home. This is why I didn't tell you earlier. Stay at your job. I need to know if you got any more information on the website. I did. It's bad news, isn't it? You offered to buy dinner. You always offer me food to make me less mad. It is bad news. I just refreshed the website and your necklace is on the site now. An auction is being held until midnight. This is a complete nightmare. I also followed the IP address of the website and it led me to Robin's apartment. My sister's boyfriend's apartment? I don't think Robin is the one stealing from you though. Yeah, me neither. But Paris told me Robin lives alone. Did Robin ever tell you that himself? No, he didn't. Do you know where Paris lives? Uh, I think so, but it's been about a year. I haven't been able to come over. Maybe Paris moved in with Robin and didn't tell you. That makes sense, but that would also mean she's been keeping this from me. I just don't understand why. Well, what are we going to do about the website? I'm going to buy back everything that was stolen from me, and betting the highest bid on the necklace. That is like $3,000 total for all the things, babe. The highest bid so far is 250 That's fine with me. I am a police officer. We can handle this the correct way. No thanks. Don't throw your money away. Too late. <sighs> stubborn ass. You don't like my stubborn ass anymore? Unfortunately, I do. I feel more relief now. Good. I'll pick up Chinese food for us. Get me three plates. It's not good to stress eat. It's better than alcohol. What you did tonight was unacceptable. Why are you mad? You weren't even there. Robin told me what you did. And you kept it a secret from me that you were leaving with him. You knocked to my boyfriend's apartment door like an FBI agent asking to see the items you bought off the website. Why would you even go to his apartment in the first place? You are aware my boyfriend is a police officer? What is that supposed to mean? One of you is running the site and I don't think it's Robin. You're speaking a whole lot of bullshit right now. I don't know what you're insinuating, or am I sure what website you're talking about? The website where all my belongings are being sold off and auctioned off? I've never seen a website like that before. You're giving me a headache. Good night. One of the necklaces stolen from me was from Grandma London. It's only a necklace. I get you guys were close, but it's not that serious. So you don't even care. Apologize to my boyfriend for disturbing him about your delusional website. This conversation is over. Don't swing by that apartment ever again. I think I know who the thief is. You knew. You just didn't want to believe it. I can't believe my own sister is stealing from me. I know that's your family, but she needs some discipline. You're right, and that's why I intend to make sure she gets what she deserves. I'm so pissed off right now. I like you when you're mad. Well, when you're not mad at me. In order for you to detain someone, you need hard evidence, right? Yeah, going off on an IP address alone would do nothing. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I'll see you later. 
You're welcome. See ya. This is Paris' boyfriend, correct? Yeah. Hey, Robin. It's Frenchie. Sorry for the rude intrusion before, but I need a favor that you cannot tell Paris about. Why can't I tell her? It's for a present. Oh, uh, okay. What do you need? Do you know where her laptop is? I'm not sure she has one. Look around the room. Look in the shoeboxes, cabinets, under the mattress, etc. She used to hide things there when we were kids. Uh, I think I found it. I'll send a picture. Is this the computer? I don't know. Wait, I mean yes. Okay. Come and give it to me. If she asks for it, do not tell her anything. Got it. Thanks, Robin. No problem. I got her laptop. How? I have connections. Robin gave you the laptop, didn't he? Yes, he did. Anyways, do you get off at 10 tonight? Yeah, but I might leave a little early. Okay, I just want to run a few things by you when you get home. I was also wondering something. Shoot. If I have proof of her breaking and entering my home and the laptop, would that be enough to detain her? That would be more than enough. Do you plan to press charges? Nah, what she did was pretty bad, but the news of my sister's stealing would probably hurt my mom too much. I also don't want to add salt into the wound. I also pity her. You're so nice, Frenchie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hi, Paris. Just wanted to let you know that I won't be home all day, so don't pass by. Where will you be all day? Doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment, then I'm going to try to refund the cameras I bought. I also need to buy a safe. So what? I have a bunch of silver jewelry, but there's no space for me to put them. They're all under my bed right now. Pick out a good safe. I'll try. Bye-bye. I took my car out the driveway like you asked me to. Thank you. Where are you right now? After I parked my car far away, I hid behind the patio chairs. Nice. Thanks for missing work for this. When you told me what to do when I got home last night, I felt excited. This is well worth it. Your boyfriend is allowing me to text you. I just want you to know I despise you. You set me up. I didn't do anything. How did I set you up? You lied about the jewelry. What you found under the bed was a silver jewelry, was it not? Under the bed and I found a pair of handcuffs and when I looked up, Chris was standing behind me. So you set me up. The handcuffs were a present. I'm surprised you didn't steal them too. You did this to yourself. Why would you steal from your own sister? Quit playing the victim. You're not the one allowed to be mad here. So I take it that you're not going to apologize? I'm not going to. I can possibly get more than five years because of you. I'm your sister. How could you do this? You're so self-centered. I really love you, but damn. If you really loved me, you would have let me continue stealing from you. I'll let you in on a secret. Chris told me you can get up to ten years for this. You broke in and entered my home while I was out numerous times, stole my belongings numerous times, then you would resell them numerous times. You even stole Grandma London's necklace from me. Ten? Are you joking? Instead of being remorseful, you're more concerned about yourself. I can see your sister breaking down outside my office. I made one of my officers go get the phone from her. I told her she can receive up to 10 years. <laughs> Bad Frenchie. That wasn't very nice. YOLO. We made her tell us everything about the robberies. She's been doing it for a year and been shipping out all of your stuff to customers. Over a year? I guess I won't be able to get all my things back. 
We also confiscated a copy of your key from her. That's how she's been coming into your house. Ask her what her actual job is. On the form, she said the website was her job. Robin has probably been supporting her financially. I'll have to question her about that. I'm honestly fearing up hearing about this. I feel so betrayed and idiotic for not noticing it sooner. I'm so stupid. Don't blame yourself. It's her fault. You're right. I need to calm down. I probably won't be able to face her for a while. If anything, she should be grateful that I'm not pressing charges. You're so kind-hearted. If something like this were to happen to me, I wouldn't hesitate to put them behind bars. Even if it was me? Yes. Anyway, she told us where she kept all your stuff, so in a couple of minutes, me and my team are going to retrieve it. Where are they? It's in Robin's apartment, stuffed in a mattress. In a mattress. So typical of her. Poor Robin. Hopefully he starts looking for someone else soon. He might get more involved if Paris tried to do any more schemes. Thank you for all of this, Chris. Like, truly. Don't mention it, sweetheart. I love you. I love you too. I have to go now, but uh... Do you want to go on a date tonight? How can I say no to you? Can't wait. Can you tell me you love me one more time before I go? Pretty please? I love you. Just queen like a high school girl. How are you police officer? I'll see you tonight. See you later. I didn't press charges so Paris will get detained for only about a month. Chris and a few other officers went into Robin's home and looked through their bedroom mattress where they found all my laptops, phones, purses and other accessories imaginable. They also found a box full of the items I purchased of the website that was ready to be sent to the post office for shipping. As part of punishment, Paris had to pay me $3,000. Her boyfriend Robin also broke up with her for potentially getting him mixed up with illegal antics. Me and Chris's relationship has reached new heights due to this situation, which is strange but also comforting.